with Turkey. Okay, let me ask you about Iraq. It's getting, you know, you've, you've described the terrible things that Russia is doing in mm -hmm. Syria. Mm -hmm. and whether Russia's activity in Iraq would be deny, benign. Iraq recently received Russian tanks, T-90 tanks, and it's reportedly considering the purchase of the S-400 air defense system. What is your comment on that? And would those transactions make Iraq susceptible to CATSA sanctions? Well, first of all, we are communicating with governments all around the world, such as Iraq and others, about the CATSA law and making those governments aware of how they could run afoul of the CATSA law and the potential repercussions as a result. So we've made it clear to all of those, uh, all of many of the countries that we work with, uh, information about about our new law. Um, so let me. I just want to be clear about that. Secondly, I don't know if this uh, deal that you speak of is a done deal or not. So I'm not going to get ahead of of what that may be. But I can just tell you that we make it clear with our our partners and allies. So it sounds like from what you're saying, if this S400 deal were to go ahead and be concluded, they could be in violation of CATSA. Look, I, that's a hypothetical. But we have made it clear to countries around the world, this is our law. This is what will uh, cause your country, your government to run afoul of the law and uh, countries then need to make a choice.